वेलकम इन ऑनलाइन टीचिंग गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम महेश कुमार यू मैस टीचर सो एज आर टॉपिक एक्सपोनेंट्स इज गोइंग ऑन इन विच वी हैव लर्न रूल्स एंड लॉज ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट्स विच आर लाइक द फर्स्ट लॉ इफ वी आर हैविंग टू रेशियल नंबर इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड देयर बेस आर सेम देन वॉट हैपन्स देन देयर पावर एड्स and the second law is if there are two rational number are in division and having same base then what happens their power subtract so listen student in multiplication power adds if they are having same base and in division the power subtract if they are having same base now third law is there is a power of power like as you are saying uh, is there an, like let any rational number a upon b is having whole power m and it again it's having a whole power and then what will happen this power of power will be in multiplication we will got a upon b to the whole power m into n now fourth law is like there are two rational number let a upon b into c upon d and they are having whole power n then this power n will be of both the rational number of a upon b to the whole power n into c upon d to the whole power n now fifth law is like if our rational number is having negative power then how we can uh, remove this negative sign by we, we we can remove this negative sign by the reciprocal of the base so as the as the base is here is a upon b so this a upon b will become b upon a and this minus n will become plus n now sixth law is let a upon b any rational number and it is having power 0 then what happens its value becomes 1 like any number or any variable is having power 0 then its value becomes 1 now today we will do some miscellaneous question based on these laws so first one is within a bracket 1 upon 3 to the whole power minus 3 minus 1 upon 2 to the whole power minus 3 is divided by 1 upon 4 to the whole power minus 3. So what we will do first? First we will solve the small bracket according to the bond mass rule. Now, as you are seeing, the, all the rational number are having negative power, and we know how we can uh, make it positive by the reciprocal of the base. So this 1 upon 3 will become 3 upon 1 to the whole power. 3 and this 1 upon 2 will become 2 upon 1 to the whole power 3 and this 1 upon 4 will become 4 upon 1 to the whole power 3 and this 3 upon 1 to the whole power 3 can be written as 3 to the power 3 and 2 upon 1 to the whole power 3 can be written as 2 to the power 3 and this 4 upon 1 to the whole power 3 can be written as 4 to the power 3 what we will do now we will expand these and multiply Then after multiplication we will got twenty within a bracket twenty seven minus eight is divided by sixty four. Now after subtraction we will got nineteen divided by sixty four and which can be written as nineteen upon sixty four. This is our final answer. Next is here we have to evaluate within a bracket five inverse that like five to the power minus one can we we say is as Five inverse into three inverse to the whole power minus one divided by six inverse. Now, as we know, how we can remove the minus power by the reciprocal of the base? So this five will become one upon five, and this three inverse can be written as one upon three. As you are saying, there is a whole power minus one. Now, as this six inverse can be written as one upon six. Now, what we will do? We will multiply numerator to the numerator and denominator to the denominator. Like one one day one and five three day fifteen. It will be one upon five to the whole power minus one is divided by one upon six. Again there is a negative power. So what we will do? Again we will find the reciprocal of the base. This one upon fifteen. So when is this one upon fifteen will become fifteen upon one. And we know there is no need to write the power one. And one up fifteen upon one divided by one upon six. Now as we know. Let this divide converts into multiply, and there will be a reciprocal of the second number. As second number is one upon six, so this this six one upon six will become six upon one. Now what we will do? We will find the 
product of numerator to the numerator and denominator to the denominator. So after multiplying 15 to the 6, 15 6 the 90 and 1 1 the 1. That means you will got 90 upon 1 which can be written as 90. This which will be your final answer. Now next question is here we have to find the value of x for which 4 upon 9 to the whole power 4 into 4 upon 9 to the whole power minus 7 equals to 4 upon 9 to the whole power 2x minus 1. So what we'll do here, here first we simplify the left hand side and the right hand side will be in continue. Like as you are saying the left hand side both the rational number are having same base 4 upon 9 and 4 upon 9 and they are in multiplication and we know if the rational number and multiplication are having same base then their powers add. So we will add the powers. It will be 4 upon 9 to the whole power 4 plus within a bracket minus 7 equals to 4 upon 9 to the whole power 2x minus 1. And then next step we will simplify 4 upon 9 to the whole power 4 minus 7 equals to 4 upon 9 to the whole power 2x minus 1. Now after the subtraction we will got 4 upon 9 to the whole power minus 3 equals to 4 upon 9 to the whole power 2x minus 1. Now listen student don't do the mistakes. To remove the negative power because these type of question how we solve like we make the same base of both the side numbers like as you are seeing in the left hand side it is 4 upon 9 and in right hand side also you are having 4 upon 9 in the base so now we can compare both the side then this then what happens this 4 upon 9 and 4 upon 9 will cancel we will so we'll, we'll not show this then we will got minus 3 and 2x minus 1 which can be written as 2x minus 1 equals to minus 3 then what will happen then this this minus 1 when go to the right hand side it will become plus 1 so as we know different sign subtract so we will got 2x minus 2 as this in 2x 2 is in multiplication and when we this will go in other side it will be in division so x equals to minus 2 upon 2 as both the 2 are, can be cancelled by 2 2 1 2 and 2 1 2 then we will got x equals to minus 1 which is our final answer so students this is all for today we will learn more in the next session thank you and have a nice day